Monday lunches at the Sac Anjou. They say there's no better deal around. Cut the fidelity, and there you've got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven meals that we're paying for five dollars each, and the eighth one is free. And if you volunteer, you get two dollars off. Beyond the cost, though, it's the warmth and the kindness of the staff and volunteers that brings people back week after week. They make you feel welcome, a home away from homes. Anjou is a mostly French-speaking borough. A small but dedicated group of English speakers comes to the centre and wouldn't think of going anywhere else. Anglophones who come here feel very, very welcome. And it just seems like it's a very welcoming community altogether. Well, very often we say that Sac Anjou is a big family. It's a family where we gather everybody together. The centre rents space in four satellite buildings, each buzzing with activities for seniors, but also for people of all ages. On any given day, there are student success programs to keep kids in school, language classes, sports, and a 55-plus walking club. Alors je me disais, oh my God, c'est qui ces vieux-là? Mais finalement, quand je me suis pointée au point de rencontre, j'ai trouvé des gens sympathiques, des gens... That was nine years ago. Now retired, Francine Laprade volunteers. Teaching cooking classes to six and 11 year olds. I like it so much. And, and every uh, Tuesdays, I like, I like to come here and cook different things. The recipes are basic, a meal the kids can take home to their families. As a volunteer, Parade takes home a warmed heart. Alors de travailler avec des jeunes de cet âge-là, des jeunes allumés, moi ça, ça m'allume aussi, puis ça me fait du plaisir, et puis je, je retrouve mon cœur d'enfant. <laughs> Almost a quarter of the population in Anjou is elderly. All four of the municipal housing buildings in the borough are strictly for seniors. One in three lives alone. It's been a lifesaver for me because I live alone. And winters are long, I don't have to say that. The Sachs Knitting Club gets seniors out and breaks the isolation. It's good to get out and unfortunately I lost my husband a year and a half ago, so that's even been better for me to be with people and uh, yeah, it's really been a great, uh, it's a great asset to one's life when you're alone all day, or not all day, but you know, but it's it's good, very, very good, I love it. Now 81, Dolores McCauley joined the Sac Anjou 23 years ago. She comes to the knitting club not so much to stitch, but to socialize. It was nice to be out amongst people. Well, and you say that, and it's interesting because I understand when you first started coming here, you had agoraphobia. I was in the house for eight years and I wouldn't even go on the balcony. I had 15 years of therapy before I came here and I still wasn't in great shape. Dolores credits the sack with building her self-esteem. All these years later, she now embraces being in the spotlight in the comedy club. So what does this place mean to you? Oh, I would never want to leave it. But she will be soon and for a good reason. It's a hike between all of the satellite buildings and accessibility is limited. So the Sac Anjou is building its very own centre. By next June, most of the activities will all be under one roof. I just love this community. It's like a little village here. After 45 years, this pillar of the community continues to grow.